In the last song diary, I had talked about a motif that I had come up with that was in B minor. It worked particularly well on the 12th string, and just as a refresher, it went like this. <laughs> And at the same time, I had talked about how this worked pretty well with the idea of contrary motion as well, because in the bass figure, while that motif was playing, this would also be playing. Now, I had thought about how to bring some variety into this, what to change to next. And I thought that a good move would be just to go up to the four chord. Now, even in minor key songs, going up to the four chord is a bit cliche. But I mean, cliches aren't to completely invalid. Uh, not everything has to be a hair-raising cliché buster in the songs that you write, and oftentimes it's not always possible to come up with something that's completely novel all the time. You have to sometimes choose where you want to stand out and where not to. So the motif also can make use of the uh, open E string, and in E minor it just sounds like this. And in the background, I decided not to use the contrary motion. I think in this case, it would be best to have it give a bit of difference just by staying on the E. Can switch octaves like that, or it can just stay in one octave. maybe have a solo instrument playing on top of that or maybe a melody uh, anything to just sort of fill in the space and add a bit of interest after that then it would go back to the main motif in B minor And it would continue with that. There are some uh, chord progressions that I came up with uh, later on, and these would be based on the what they call the cycle of thirds, uh, which I first heard from Robert Fripp. We will go into that into the next song diary, but for now, this is just to show that uh, sometimes relying on some things in the common grammar and vocabulary of music uh, can still be a good way to add a bit of interest to your song without changing things too much. So moving to the four chord can bring in a little variety to your verses and to some of your instrumental sections without changing things too much. Thank you for listening and if you have any questions please uh, send them to info at ledbytheshepherd.com or leave them in the comments. Thank you and have a blessed day.